All right. Everyone, welcome back for another edition of New Challenger Coaching. I am Encore, as you can already tell, and we're going to do some coaching today. Um, so, how this usually works, for those who haven't done this before, I will just be sitting in the back, I won't be fighting anybody, so no one has to worry about, you know, fighting any diamonds, but I'll just be sitting in the back of the queue, and just watch everyone else go at it while I give my critiques, and just kind of give some tips along the way, and, you know, pretty much just helping anyone who is in here but even if you're not in here that's okay because it's still a learning experience even if you're not a part of the group directly it's always good to you know see those things visually and get an idea of what's going on so without any more delaying let's get right to it and not just leave the lounge okay So, yeah, and you guys can get right at it. Hopefully he actually can hear me or something. Okay. I don't know if I could put him to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there he is. Alright. Cool. Alright. How is everyone today? I know I'm doing alright. Finally warmed up over here in the Midwest. It's like 70 degrees outside. God dang it. So, no more robe time. I know, I was on that for a long freaking time. That was, that was, uh, that was like three solid months of straight up just robing it during, you know, coach nights and just general playing at my apartment because I ain't about to pay no heating bill. Eh. Gotta use the coin to open these cans. Yes, I do enjoy my nice trashy beers on days or nights I don't have to work in the morning. That's what I call a nice day off beer. I'm drinking a nice frosty Milwaukee's Best Ice, for those wondering. There we go. See that? Yep, I know, I'm trashy. Oh, here we go. Okay. Actually, turn this down just a smidge. There we go. No get any feedback. Crush counters. It's always good to know what to follow up with him. That's big damage, especially as Akuma, who's just a huge offensive player. You really gotta get those, you know, combos rolling with him. Because you can get some hard damage when you're playing guys like him. I've actually been playing some Akuma recently. He's super fun to play. But, uh, you know, I'm right there. I'm still trying to figure out those, um, what you might call it, crush counter combos. I'm getting a little better at him, but I know once I get him rolling, it's just, just game over for so many people. It does so much damage. But I wouldn't recommend him as a beginner character, because he does not live long if 
he uh, starts getting bullied. And that is the truth. Yeah, after that, um, little jump chop that he does, um, yeah, that's a really good overhead. One, because it's safe on block, and two, it triggers so many people, including myself. I'm pretty sure I'm the most triggered person when it comes to that attack. It's just, it moves so slow, and even if you block it, I feel like something that moves that slow should be punishable, but no, you know, apparently that's not the case. But, yeah, it's a dangerous one. Eventually, when you get good enough, you could just poke it right out of the air. And that's when you know, you, know you, you made it to the top. Also, let me know how the audio is. If anything's too loud, too soft, music's too anything. Good pressure. Ooh. Good combo. Oh, that could have been it. It's a deep aerial. Oh, I was about to say if you're gonna follow up on that air fireball. Got some solid per combos off that um that air B skill launcher. I remember right, EX legs is safe, so buttons afterwards is not particularly the best idea. Someone could correct me on that though. Let me take a peek. Also good good pressure in the corner. Pick this out real fast. Chun Li. EX Legs. What do we got? Negative two. Okay. Probably should have joined the voice channel. Alright. Should be good now. Oh. There we go. Alright for anybody in there. Sorry I just kind of wasn't thinking about it for a second, but better I find it out now than ever. Okay. all the synchronizing. Kind of annoying. Cool, there we go. What's up, guys? Alright, yeah. I forgot about doing that for a second. And I was like, ooh, that's right. I'm supposed to do this. It's like, I wonder, what, why is everything so quiet? I can't hear anyone for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's probably just upsetting. I don't even know why I'm talking. You can't even hear me. But, uh, yeah. Also, um, you can turn your mics on. This is a group conversation. Everyone is, yeah, everyone's encouraged to talk. It's a big roundtable discussion, so we can talk about how we can get good and things. There we go. It's I knew something was up. Uh... TV, but not through my headset. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, it was weird. It's like, why is everything so quiet? I was like, oh, 
I'm not talking to anybody, that's why. Okay. And if this Akuma keeps on just wrecking through everybody, might have to drop you off after you get through a full cycle of people. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Maybe this Colleen will give you the hands, I don't know. No, oh, guess not. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have to, like, cycle through now, or...? Um, let's see, was that the last guy you beat? I think it was. Okay, um, let me... Actually, I'm in the front of the queue now. I'm gonna add one more spot to the, uh, lobby. Because I actually yeah. moved through that pretty fast in 10 minutes, so I'm going to do that real fast. Okay, no problem. Oh, I can't. Yeah, whatever. We'll just have to live with our mistakes. Okay. Um, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah, you can just go to the back of the queue if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. I just have like to not upset, or can you move me to the back of the queue, or do I have to do that? Um, you would have oh, yeah, to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. there I, you go. And then I will go back, and then y'all can go do your thing. Uh, Christian, you were talking about. I was here in the stream in the. I think it was the first match, and I got a crush Hold counter. A yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, never mind. Well, with that specific crush counter, I have no idea what to do. Yeah. Um. So. What would I say? Trials mode? If you've gotten into that, I'm sure you have at some point. It gets into a few of the crush counter combos, and they're pretty elaborate. Not what I'd call incredibly beginner-friendly, albeit for maybe one combo. But, um, yeah, crush counter combos are a little different because they're typically longer than your typical target combo stuff or, or stuff like that. Um, okay. But the best way to practice them is just going to training and uh, set the dummy to like always be countered on hit. So every time you throw like a heavy attack or just any crush counterable attack, um, it'll be in like that crush counter state and you can just practice, you know, big combos on them. I enjoy doing stuff like that. I always think that's fun. But my, like, my question was more like, what, what, what counter can I, what combo can I do after, after that crush counter? That oh. crush counter, because of how it works at like, he crumples. The, the other character crumples down. So you basically yeah. have to, if they're far away and you walk up, you kind of have to just bag HP. Could be true. And then you can do a demon flip palm or, you know, something like that. Okay. That's, that's probably the most optimal one for getting Oki okay after it. If you're close, you can just do a like normal combo, but usually you oh. want to do the dash forward back heavy punch. Okay, oh, back heavy punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get it now. Uh, the other one that I kind of know is the. Flying backwards. Normally, you do a. Well, if I have B trigger, I do B trigger Shoryuken. I don't know uh, if that's. Nice nah, Shoryuken. I mean, Dragon Punch, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there's a couple different things you could do. Um, just play around with it. There's you no know, my handful of different options you can go with. But um, yeah, play around, see what fits. There's certain combos that are, you know, people like over others. And, you know, being in, like, that bronze, a silver level, you don't really have to go find, like, the most optimal stuff. Oh. You were talking about the launcher from Akuma's Visco, right? Yeah. No, I have that. Well, either that or the cross counter from his standing hey, hey punch. Well, not the launcher, but they go kind of, like, flying backwards. Yeah, from the Visco, right? No, 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 from the standing hey punch, when it's a cross oh. counter. They don't oh, fly back. oh no! Wait, I thought you were talking about the V skill launcher. Yeah, the so yeah, you did the V skill back. kick. Yeah. I, I, I know what to do after the V skill kick. Yeah, that one I don't know how to use. It okay. seemed like you were always doing EXTP, which was kind of weird. Too. Yeah, I, I was trying. I, I think that's what the one, the most damaging one, right? Demon uh, flip is Oroki. You can do yeah, demon flip is me or better Oki. You can whiff the um. Light, light kick Tatsu to switch sides and you do heavy DP and that smacks damage. 
Because if you don't time it well, you missed one or two hits off of DP. Um, someone fell through, no? Um, I don't know or a lot of Akuma stuff, so I'm probably not the best with that. Um, I wonder if some of the other coaches might have better Akuma knowledge. I don't, we don't have, like, one straight-up Akuma main, but... I have decent Akuma knowledge. Like, I know a lot my... of his stuff, because I just think he's really fun to play. It's my turn, right? Or did someone fill through? Um, so... I don't know. They're not readying up, so... You know, if they don't ready up, then that's just the way it is. Okay. I'm gonna wait for the clean to ready up then. Alright, we'll wait just a little bit longer, but uh yeah, if they don't go. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, the other trouble that I was having Dakuma was when I get blocked, I have no idea what to do. Um Let's when you get uh like if Akuma's just got you in a big block string or something? No, I mean get blocked, I I, I don't know what to do after. Like after I ended my, my block string, I don't know what like to follow it up with. Oh, keep if, the pressure. if you're playing Akuma and you're on the defense. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that could be tough. You know, like I said, Akuma is a very offensive guy. So, naturally, his defensive stuff is going to be not very good. Um, but he does have, you know, his DPs, his EX DPs. But those are obviously super risky just to bust out at any given moment. So, um... What you could do is just kind of, honestly, the best thing is just to block if you're waking up and, you know, look for a tech throw if you've gotten more savvy on those. But, um, yeah, you really just have to be patient when you're on defense because the last thing you want to do is, you know, start pressing buttons on your wake up because that's how you'll eat a bunch of counters and, you know, before you know it, you'll be dead. So like in this situation here, Akuma's just like right in his zone right now, yeah. Yeah. When I get them in the corner, I normally do very well. Yep, that's typical of, you know, heavy offensive characters. I mean, that's just like the spectrum is so just swayed in their favor at that point. And, uh, yeah, Colleen, you would probably need to be a little bit more safe in defensive situations. Because like I was telling Gabs, when you're... I mean, Colleen's more counter attacky not so offensive, but, you know, it still applies to all characters that overextending and the like is not a very great option because it's a really easy way to eat a bunch of damage. Oh, but went over. Hmm. See if she can keep it. Good defense. Ooh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you gotta be careful when Akuma's got you in the corner there. You really gotta pick your spots. I have a question. Does Co yeah, Colleen has anything like a wake up DP or something like that? Uh. I, she doesn't. Her critical art, I wonder what the frame data is on that, because it may actually be something you can pop out on wake up, but I don't know for sure. Her I mean, counter is a one frame startup. Oh yeah, that's counter. right, her counters, yeah. And her uh, EX. But like, her, does check? her counter is hit a midi? Like, if I do a midi, we're, yeah. will her counter if like... Oh yeah, it will. Oh, okay. That's why you, when you meet and call in, you have to be kind of like tricky about it. Do lows, grabs, so she can't just wake up medium counter and just hit you all the time. Okay, I got you. Um, the, the other problem I have with Akuma is when I'm blocking. How? Maybe, is a better question. Sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you. The mic kind of cut out. Yeah, no problem. And when I'm blocking with Akuma, how do I punish or like when can I punish? Uh, that's a really good question. And uh, a lot of that is uh, just knowing frame data and, you know, just knowing when to pick your spots. But, you know, his generally good, you know, 
uh, buttons to press on defense just to get a button in to maybe counterattack or at least get him back to neutral. I'll just say like stand jab. You know, it's a four framer. Okay. I wouldn't abuse it too much because, you know, being a four frame attack, it can I get stuffed. Stand jab was three. It is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three. Hmm. If it is, that's surprising. Kuma having a three frame attack. My god, it is. That's scary. Okay. Yep. He's got, he got a three frame jab, so yeah, use that. Very much use that. But don't like abuse it so much because, you know, you keep doing it on wake up or the like, you will get beat out for it. Ooh. Alright. Nakawi knows how to Nakawi. <laughs> Also, this is like what. Okay, this is like one of my favorite Nakali costumes too. Or actually, what well, is one of my like top five costumes in this game? Yeah, I think uh, who was it, Kazunoko, that designed it? I think something like that. He did a good job, even he... if he doesn't play the character. He really did. Oh. We're going Ooh. Yeah, that I, I think that's the that double standing medium keep. It's I, a frame trap. Uh, it is a frame trap. Punish it. I yeah, think I it is. I'm pr I'm fairly sure you can punish it. Probably, I push medium. So. The double uh, stand medium kick from Akuma. The stand medium kick on block is minus two. Oh really? God. I could have sworn I've been um, stuffed out by it before. Ooh, good combo. Maybe it was DP'd or something. I don't know. I only just started messing around with the Kuma like maybe a week ago. But he's super fun to play. Ooh, good escape. Yeah, a lot of people. A uh, lot. Of, uh, I, was I noticed a lot of people. They don't use, uh, like, some specials or just generally unique attacks to, like, escape the corner. Kind of like uh, Alex's uh, air, was it, like, air down HP? It does his little commando dive. Just to kind of oh, just yeah. roll out. That's a really good don't way to get out of there. Me about that. <laughs> it's my so, favorite move. It's so good. But I, I use it all the time when I'm playing Alex just to dip out of the corner. You know, even the Kali dash, that's a really good way. You know, if they do a neutral jumper to like, you know, there's a lot of attacks like that just okay, to uh, escape situations. Yeah, that too, but you gotta be careful so you don't get, you know, thrown yeah, out of I, it or something like that. I, I almost never use the teleport. I I feel I always get punished. I'm gonna try out Karang now. She's the other character. I'm, I'm trying to decide between Akuma or Karang right now. Um, yeah, just use whoever you feel like using. We won't judge you too hard. <laughs> I will, maybe. Um, I like Karin. I think she's good. Um, I tried her out a little bit because I felt like she was like doubly in a way, I guess, with the dashes. But I don't know. She wasn't my style. You, uh, Karen or Colleen? Uh, Karen. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's interesting. I never really clicked with her. I just feel like the execution window is just way higher than I would ever care to use. But mm -hmm. um, she's got some amazing neutral game, that's for sure. Yeah. It, it yeah. Even as like if I'm playing Balrog against a Karen, it's just like ugh, I really don't want to do this. It's like yeah. I don't want to face a character with as good a neutral as Balrog. I ain't trying to do that. Mm hmm. <laughs> And that was what drew me to her in season one was just like she could just control space. That medium kick and that light kick were just so like ridiculously like good at spacing people and just I know. <laughs> I love right. it. Uh all right. Well it looks like we're not spectating this match. I don't know. I think uh was the battle lounge is some sort of weird bug with it where just sometimes they won't let you look at the match. I really don't know why it does that, but I really don't know. So we get to look at the nice map that Capcom has given us with all the little pink dots. What's 
just know where everyone's from. Ooh, now it's green dot. Oh, I wonder how good the servers will be once the April patch hits. I can only imagine. It's like playing a big game of roulette. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice much of a difference in the beta patch. Like the little thing that they had. Yeah. Uh, I guess beta over the weekend. It didn't really make too much of a difference for me. Yeah. I still felt like it took forever to do everything. Um... <laughs> I noticed it was a little quicker getting in the matches. That could have just been because I was playing on PC, but I really don't know. I mean, I only matched up once for a match. Because it's like right when it dropped, I started looking for games, and it probably took me about 20 minutes just to find one match, but it, I just attribute that to, you know, it just dropped, and there was maybe like a few hundred people playing at the time, but... Mm -hmm. Like, when I actually found the match, it started loading. I actually noticed it loaded pretty quick. I was impressed. But my computer can't really run um, Street Fighter too well oh, for some I reason. I think I have one against everyone. Um, I mean, if you want to go down, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. So everyone can, like, play against it's everyone. Yep. And I'll head back. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's weird because I have an i5 in my build, like an i5-6500, which is like a solid processor, but still can't run it. And I was like, okay, this is great. So, I don't know. Fun computer things. The game up, well, I didn't expect it to be able to. But oh well. And for anyone watching on Twitch right now, this is the new challenger, Coach Knight. If you would like to be a part of this or would like to see all the other cool stuff we do, go look down below. You can find our website, Discord, Twitter, and pretty much everything in between. And pretty much check out everything we got going on. We do Coach Nights like you see. We got tournaments. We got one-on-one -on -one coaching. Pretty much anything you'd ever want if you're wanting to get better at this game, so go take a look and see how you like it. Yeah, they gave Nikali some solid colors on that costume. I didn't even thought about picking it up and I didn't even play Nikali. What does Nikali B Trigger actually give him? I, I know it's infinite, but does he um, get the lunge? He gets better frames on his V skill, his uh, that lunge move, and a couple of his normals. Ooh. And that amazing dash. Yeah, he just gets like that straight up leap frog in your face. Ooh, good reset. Okay. Thanks. Ooh, risky DP. And he gets a he gets a new a new critical art, right? Or if it does or or, or, ju or does just the animation change? Just the animation changes. Oh, the animation. Oh, okay. I thought it did, I thought it dealt more damage or something. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it does more damage. Ooh. Actually, it might. Now that I think about it, I think it does a tad more. I'm surprised Capcom doesn't do that more. I think only like Ryu, Akuma, and Nikali have Guile or either. Guile, do, Guile has another... Really? I didn't know. Well, I don't have Guile, but... Ooh, good stuff. Completely different. Ah, oh, too late. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. But is that actually a confirm? Like, if you do it fast enough? Oh yeah, you can. That's a solid okay. combo. Nice. Uh, I think that's all. Oh, there it is. Colleen's, Colleen's critical art seems like it does very little damage. I don't know if it's like... It does a little bit of damage. Also, Colleen, I I just getting the sense that I feel like you're not going for enough offensive opportunities. I feel like you're just sitting back. 
a little bit and just waiting for them to come to you. Um, it's, you know, it's a good patient mindset, but I just don't think it's really can do, like, I feel like you're doing that way too much. You really got to get in there and, you know, start putting some pressure on or else you're going to find yourself in the corner and just taking way too many, you know, being on defense way too much and your health is going to chip away and you really just got to get in there and throw some punches in and safely, I should say. No, it's just putting that, you know, pepper in with that pressure. That's really all it is. Also, sorry for anyone in the Discord or the stream uh, for my English. I'm not, it's not my native language. Oh, no, it's all good. Oh, it's cool. You're fine. Round one. Fight. How do you like this PSQ? That this kill is the one that he slams the ground, right? Yeah. Okay. What can you do against it? Only block it, huh? Or can you actually, like, I don't know, punish it in some way? Um, it's actually pretty unsafe, if, especially if it's up close. Um, I know it's really easy Ooh. to jump over, so I normally try and bait it out with, uh, like, throws. The throw animation kind of throws people off because of the timing. Good dashes. Yeah, this is, um, I'd say this is pretty solid Nikali play. You know, you just, just, you're just giving them that pressure. Ooh, that's a good frame trap. Yeah, it's just, you know, just put that pressure on them. Because when you do that, you're making them play in your court. And that's really, really important. You know, it's, it, you're really dignifying that it's your turn. You're the one making the moves. Yeah, when I'm trying to learn uh, Nikali stuff, I watch a lot of Haitani because I feel like he plays him the right way. Mm -hmm. I really don't like the way Phenom plays him or uh, Berlinio. Yeah, I've never really... I haven't seen a lot of, like, high-level um, Nikali play, so I couldn't give you the... TV just went out. Uh, the... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I only watch, like... I don't really like Tokido. I think he... his name was Tokido, right? Takedo? Yeah, he plays Kuma, right? Uh, yeah, but... Sure. Yeah, remember. I watch a lot of his matches. It's like kind of an idea of how to actually like, get close with a Kuma. Alright. Can you come back from the blind TV? That the Kali skins of Betrayal looks so sick. Oh, I love it. I love the Kali this one. Solid neutral from Dragon Collier. Yeah. Those long range attack. Long range attacks, I should say. Oh. Stuffing them. Chun Li's be triggered too. Um, makes her normals hit, uh, hit twice, so it's uh, just added pressure. And I don't, I think it just adds uh, a couple more combo opportunities. If I'm right, someone might correct me on that if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, the main thing is just her normals will hit you twice instead of once. So you also get some extra damage on top of it. And why is that useful? Like hitting two times on. Not normal. I mean, when you block, it's the same, no? 
Oh yeah, if you block it's the same, but it just does a little bit more damage and you get uh, better uh, frames on hit when you connect, yeah. No, okay. I believe it adds a couple frames so you can, like you were saying before, do combos that you normally couldn't out of E-Trigger. Yeah, I liked how when the, the game first came out, they said that Chun-Li was a super difficult character because she doesn't do... You have to, like, work a lot to get that damage. But the thing is, if you, it's not terribly difficult on the execution. Like, once you really get a handle of the character, then it's like, it's not really a, what you'd call a flaw to say that a character has a high execution skill. Kind of like when people say that, you know... You know, Vega is not a good character because, you know, his execution skill is high, or his execution window is high. I'm like, that's not really a setback if you ask me. Round one. Fight. Yeah, it allows you to do more stuff. Yeah, really. Good air damage. You tried to jump there, no? Ooh. No, I tried to grab. Yeah. And the low caught me. I wouldn't... I don't like teaching people about any air jab, but Nikali has a really good one. I'm just gonna put it out there, but I would prefer if people used uh, crouch HP with Nikali for an anti-air. Because... Uh, any air jabs can be a really bad habit that just develops after a long time. Like, I got a bad habit right now because I'll use it with Balrog all the time, and he's got like four anti airs. And so I always end up defaulting the any air jab, and that's just it's really screwed me over so many times. Good dash. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I'm dead now. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm dead now. Ooh. I could have blocked that because he just oh. reset me. Or no. You can jump yeah. back. Jump yeah, you, back. Can, okay. you can jump back. I believe you can dash back. And you can also okay. neutral jump. Yes, if you dash Fire back, around. I can uppercut you, though. So okay, okay. It can get caught with an uppercut. Yeah, it's all just the game of risk that you play. Good combo. Okay. That double me again. <laughs> I use it a lot, of, but I, I but I, I think you punished it this match with crouching light kick. I think. Yeah, I think I did actually. Yeah, I, th I think that works. Make a note of that one. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, now it's all good. All right, you get to the back Q. I played around with Nikali a little bit, and I always, I always see this whenever he's being played. But people say that he's like really boring to watch. I mean, I can oh, kind, I can kind of get it, but I'm just like, are you like really? You're gonna say that? You're gonna, you're gonna say Nikali's boring, but you're not gonna say Ryu's boring. I don't think Ryu's boring, but I mean, come on. Yeah, the only character that I find like a little boring to watch is Sangi. I don't dislike him, but I think he's like the most boring to watch. Yeah, like unless it's like a really active match. You want to talk about a really boring match? Get into a Guile Zangief matchup. That is like watching paint dry. 
It's like nothing is going on that entire match. It's just booms and gray health, and that's all it is for like 70 seconds per round. Yeah, try watching a first to five on that. That is just not gonna happen. I should have used uh, I think like it. I was using me crouch. Valid. Yeah, that was that was good stuff. It really shows how much the battle sways if Akuma gets thrown to the corner. And Colleen's actually got some solid corner carry. If you can use it right. Kuma's giving Kalina a little bit of that same medicine. Oh, I dropped it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, you gotta be careful with Kalina because she a lot of her moves are unsafe. And in this matchup, that is just not good for her by any means. So she's gotta be she's gotta be offensive, but she also gotta be careful. Ooh, Ariel solid. scares me so much. That was so solid. Good confirm. Uh, do do crush counters fill up the salt bar more? Um. No, actually, I don't think so. It would make sense, honestly, if you'd ask me, but I don't think it does. I know counters do, just like regular counters, and I think actually crush counters would probably give like the same like incremental in increase and in stun as just like a base counter. Or is it? Okay. I feel like Chun Li could do well in this match if she had a solid, if she keeps a solid neutral and, you know, has effective anti airing and, uh, you know, makes use of decent pressure. I feel like that would be enough to have Chun win this match more, more times than all, not. Go. So that was that was really good. Oof. That was really good. Really good play. But then that's the other thing. See Akuma jumping that you could throw that air fireball and really throw you off. That's why you gotta be a little careful. Luckily, she's got that super fast air in here. Oh, I forgot. I didn't do the double kick. Oof. Yeah, 
Yeah, the only drawback, or one of the drawbacks on Chun Li's V triggers, it drains mad fast. Oh, that was a dirty cross up. You blight my vision. Final round. Fight. Yeah, that's the thing. It's easy to get stuff and you throw out those heavy attacks. Especially with Chun Li. She's really good with that. She's got plenty of tools to make that happen. Uh, and I'm back. Just in time, too. Hey. Yeah, the magic like No, no. Round one. No, no, nothing. No. Fight. Well, I can't even see what's going on. Uh -huh. That's a shame. I like with uh, Dragon Claw. Not this much like the one that I played before the one that I just played. Like. But it was like a little lag and it fixed itself pretty quick. It seems so hard to like touch, touch the grab after a reason. Yeah, it, it's a tricky one. Can't tell that, you know, like that reset combo so much. Kind of going off on that one. But I can't blame you, it's a really good combo and you know, if it works, it works. Yeah, I feel like I rely on it too much though. Like, yeah. I use it as like my only way to get into V Trigger sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's a solid combo, but yeah, switching it up every once in a while would probably only benefit you. Yeah, yeah that's. That yeah, that's another thing that's to not... realize about the. Uh... Like... Sorry? Yeah, that's another thing to realize about uh, Nikali's uh, dash attack. It does swallow up a projectile, or does take up, you know, yeah, takes up a hit of a projectile, that's it. And uh, does the EX version take up two? I know the V-Trigger one takes up a couple. Or it's the... weird how it works. Yeah, I remember seeing a video of it that, like, I want to say, like, Frame Trap made that went into the details, but it, like... He did it, it was like an EX V trigger, uh, you know, dash special, and it took up like all the hits of, uh, you know, Sonic Hurricane from Guile. Yes. I and... think it works the way he, when he swings, like each swing he gets a hit of projectile. Like, so if it, if you time it right, maybe. Mm -hmm. well, I've never gotten it to work, ever. So. And I know quick two hit projectiles, like EX boom and stuff like that. Yeah. Won't work or Hadouken, he'll get hit by it still, so. Um. Let's 
Um, Gabs, have you got any uh, specific things you'd like to go over? Just let me know. Yeah, is that I, I don't know like exactly what I did wrong in the Chun-Li match, but... Um, that's a tough one for uh, Kuma yeah. like I was going over. I mean, once he gets in, he's in, but... Yeah, you do have to be careful because, you know, her neutral is just out of this world. It's like, I'd say almost like, it's probably right on the Karen level of neutral. Um, but you really just gotta be careful on how you get in. But, um, you know, fireballs are your friend there. You know, throw a fireball, like a slow one, and just like stay right behind it and just close the distance on her. No. Right. Make sure that she's, you know, blocking more than she's attacking, but don't overextend. I know that's a weird thing to say, but, you know, it kind of makes sense. Okay. Yeah. The hardest part is just closing that distance, because if you're in the neutral, Akuma is not going to be able to do anything. His normals are way too stubby. You really do a whole lot, unless you get the off chance of that you, you know, crush counter, like a whiff punish normal or something. But yeah, okay. closing that distance is important. Okay, I'll try it out. Yeah, I mean, I play Nikali, but the mindset I try and go in with fighting Chun is I try and wait, like, and try and, like, get in on, like, a fireball or something. I try and get a good read on one, and yeah. then get in. And then once you're in, it's pretty easy, but if she can get her fireball out, it's scary. Ooh. Ooh, she can just got. keep you away. Aw, what a way. Is this, uh, Goli looks. I mean, from other characters I haven't like looked at and fight against, Goli is the one like that looks the hardest in my opinion. She is pretty tough because she just plays differently. She's uh, more counter attacky. She's not meant to go on like the you know balls out offense as a lot of the characters in the roster do. You know, you gotta play a little bit more patient with her. I wouldn't say that she's necessarily beginner friendly because of just how unorthodox her play style is. But, um, yeah, she's, she's uh, an interesting one. I haven't really delved into playing her much, but, um, yeah, I couldn't give you a lot of details on how to work it, or work her, I should say. But, um, yeah, really gotta know a lot about your opponent to play her well, I feel. That's where frame data, knowledge, and just, you know, the general you know, rhythm and motion of the game comes into play. I agree. I feel her her best part is her parry system, but it's also the hardest part. Like, if you can get her parries down and know, like, for example, when Akuma knocks me down, he's going to try and go for... Uh, low attack on my wake up or something and you know to parry then you're set but you can't know that every time so that's why okay. i feel Kotlin's really hard to play yeah yeah she's tough and you know i got respect for Colleen players of, you know when she came out a lot of players switched over to her and you know that's not a you know smooth transition you know, she doesn't play like a lot of the other characters on the roster so, you know, it's it's tough. You know, and I just play Balrog and Bison, which is pretty much just hit them as much and as hard as you can. Yeah, it's kind of just stay on top of them, smother them with offense. and. Yep, and to be honest, that's like 70% of the roster. Mm -hmm. But that's just how it is in this game, and I'm not going to complain too much because, you know, it's done well for me. Round one. No. I will be a skill overhead as many people as I have to. <laughs> it just it sucks trying to play a defensive character in this game besides Guile. <laughs> yeah, it, and that's a shame because I like playing defense a lot. You know, I naturally gravitate towards defensive stuff. Oh, I yeah. don't want to do that. Yeah, and like just for example. reference, the EX legs are minus two. Are minus two? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering if I could punish that. Yeah, normal ones are punishable. 
I think they are. I think they can be spaced correctly and actually be safe. Let me double check that. Round two. Fight. Yeah. Yeah, all the normal legs can be punished. They're like negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. in here. Ooh. Yeah, that's a punchable attack when she does that um, crouch MP. Yeah, that is very, very punishable. Yeah, I think like every slide attack in this game is super punishable. I can't think of any slides that aren't. Actually, um, they... If Dawson spaces them right, they are. I think except for the heavy one. I mean, when I play against Dawson, I seem like most Dawson players use them like when I jump to go under me. Mm hmm. That's what I have seen the most. Yeah, they like to do the little like cross under with that slide, and I hate it. I always have issues with Dawson's, I really don't know why. I'm gonna switch back to Ibuki. Oh, I also have. I, the slide that I hate the most is Bison's. I always get caught off guard with it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's got a fair amount of startup, but yeah, it's pretty quick. I mean, my the thing I tell people when they're fighting bison, and just to look out for that slide. If you're at, like mid screen or something, just you know keep that low guard, you know, down because you know that slide can come out of nowhere, and at no point is it safe, even if it at full range. You know, if you block that bison slide, just go to town on him. Uh. I don't think it's gonna let me see this match. God dang it. Freaking Capcom. Oh. Ah, yeah. I forgot to do that big kick, big skill kick. Yeah, okay. I, I always wonder, wonder that. When you're getting hit, like, from both sides, where do you block? Um, you block in the direction that the, uh, you know, you block, like, okay. Like, you, you block how it would be, like, if it was a cross-up. You just block in the other direction the attack is coming, just like you'd block any other attack. It's oh, okay. kind of weird, but it works. Like, you can block two things at the same time from coming from both directions if you time it right. It sounds really messed up, but it it works. Mm. I'm just getting stopped by this Akuma, man. Sorry. It's all good. Akuma. I don't really know how to fight him with Ibuki. Uh, yeah. I feel like in that matchup, you really gotta have the mix up some point and being like in that bronze and silver level it's not easy by any means exactly actually i want to test out some things with my akuma against your akuma i want to see because i kind of want to check some things out this is an interesting yeah, matchup because i feel like akuma is the character of the day <laughs> i really do I, I have played a lot of matches again, uh, Platinum Iwuki from the um, Discord. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I kind of want to play again Iwuki. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you will feel my wrath. 
it's like with Ibuki, I understand what I'm supposed to do, and like I know mix-ups, and like you know I practice them, but somewhere between my brain and my hands in a match, they just don't come out. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I have that. What well, I had that exact same problem with Carrie. Mm -hmm. Her especially, I would miss the dash follow-ups. And, uh, Round one. Fight. I didn't mean not mean to do that. Good combo. Oh, no. See, that situation right there that you were just in, like when you woke up and he was already jumping in with like a cross up attack or just even like a jump in, what do you do in a situation like that? I never know what to do. I always just try and block it. Ooh. Uh, not a block. Yeah. Actually, uh, hold on to that thought. It's hard to, like, answer questions, like, in the middle of a match. Yeah, I gotcha. No problem. Ooh. I did not think that was going to work. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I did not think that was going to work that well. But yeah, in this matchup, it's very much who can get on top of the other person first. Oh no. Yeah, you gotta be careful on that, because that uh, pop chop, whatever you want to call it, is very safe on block. Oh boy. Yeah, I was about to say, it felt like you did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, I have my bronze strats. My bronze strats at work. Alright, but yeah, that's a good example of, um, yeah. I would have liked to show that in the Chun-Li matchup, but, um... Just to really show just how those matchups work. But, yeah. Akuma's a stubby character. That's the main thing. If you want to get in to do your damage, that's the thing you have to get in. Two most important parts that I feel for, you know, committing damage in this game. Oop, don't want to do that. For committing damage in this game is you have to get in, you have to get to your damage, and then you have to do the damage. And, you know, it's easier said than done. Yeah, definitely. And if you can work on those two things, you know, getting in and having solid execution on your combos, um, you know, you can really go far in this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was the question you asked me during the match that I couldn't answer at the time? Oh, yeah. What I was asking was like, all right, there was a situation where you got knocked down and he jumped in with like a medium attack, like medium kick on your wake up. Mm -hmm. In that situation, I never know what to do. I feel like they're coming down with their attack too fast for me to react with any sort of anti-air besides an invincible. Um, let me see. I don't know if you could still do just a regular DP. For that because I feel like it might get stuffed but I don't I think if it's an aerial you're okay but I don't know for sure right. let me triple check that stuffed a lot of a time because DPs in this season are only upper body and vulnerable mm. once the new patch hits you should be able to just wake up medium DP yeah yeah because yeah. they're fully invincible now oh well at least the aerials 
But if I've, uh, let's say I'm, well, I am the Kuma, but if I was going for a cross up, will that DPS still hit me even if I was behind? Um, if I DP'd with you going for a cross up, I think my DP would whiff. Oh, okay. And I would just get bodied. In that scenario, yeah. can, would a cross cut DP work? I was gonna say, I think it would either whiff or auto correct. Yeah, that's that's another question I actually had. How do I enter a cross up? I have no idea. Um, like, let me think. Really, the best way to do that is just to grab him really early out of the air. But if it's like, if you're waking up, and that's what's going on, that makes it obviously a lot harder. So at that point, all you can really do is block. But if you're, if it's just neutral and they go for a cross up, you can either, unless you have a really good move that reaches up high, you can catch them early on their jump, or yeah. what I would suggest, just dash forward and just cross under them. That way you're completely out of their flight path and you're okay. just back to neutral. But, you know, some characters, they don't have the luxury of, like, really good anti-airs like Karen. So you really just gotta, you know, make do with what you got. Go for, like, a dash under or something of the other. Okay. Because I find myself losing to that. Like, I'll get into matches, and that'll be, like, my downfall. Like, I'll get knocked down one time, and then someone's just jump in medium kick, jump in medium kick, jump in medium kick, and it crosses me up or hits me directly, and I don't know what to do in the next situation, like, or how to get out of that situation, I should say. Yeah. And then, yeah, like, doing that, you can, well, uh, from, well, I'm the one doing it, but when I do that, I normally get people into, like, some very weird guard loops when they don't do anything and they just wait for my cross up to hit exactly and they just that's keep what happens running. you like you just like freeze up it's like it's weird like my mind is like all right push a button or all right do something but it's like no wait they just hit me a jump in so now they're plus and then it's like don't push anything and then you get like tick thrown or something like that and it's like i have found like i get the most um beaten by is when people that dash under my cross up yeah yeah that that's the worst that's when I normally like can't dash under my cross up, and then I get wrecked. All right, I think we got time for about. Maybe we could do three more matches, one more cycle through. And I think that will pretty much round it up for the night. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to play. Oh yeah, it's no problem. No. Yes, it's always good to do group coaching. <laughs> it's always a good experience for everybody. Plus I enjoyed, you know, being able to help out and all that good stuff. It's so nice. And if you didn't know already, those Karen or Colleen V skills are punishable if blocked. Even uh, if they one? do so much I mean, damage. Which one? Colleen's V skill is punishable on block. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're going for a fair amount of those. I know there's they're tough um, they're tough when you first see them does screw up anybody I still get effed up by him all the time but you know after you see him yeah and that target combo right there that Ibuki did the one two three is also punishable um yeah Yabuki V trigger shenanigans are crazy you really got to have a sharp eye to know which side she's going to be on. Uh -oh. That 
the little that ice ball from Colin. I, I always think it's like very bad, but it always hits me in the most unexpected ways for times. Yeah, it can. Yeah, that's an interesting fireball, to say the least. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to react to it. It's like a bomb blown up, uh, an explosive kunai, another bomb. Yeah, that one, actually, if you quick recover, you get out of the first part of it. Right after the uh, sweep, you can quick recover and the bomb won't blow up on you. This is pretty difficult to react to it. But yes, if you get caught in it, it's, it's a guessing game and not yep. a fun one. Alright, now I'm hearing that uh, you can't do the Colleen V skill if it's spaced correctly, like at max range. I'm pretty sure it's still punishable. Depending on what button you press. Akuma yeah. is really hard to do it on because all this is stuff is stubby. Yeah. But most characters have anything. You got seven oh, frames to think about it, so. But it's kind of like the Vega slide. It's. Got a lot of punishable frames on it, but if you space it at max range, it's not punishable. It's actually safe. Ooh, there's a lot of synchronization in this match. I thought I had this, bro. There's a, there's some timing with that thing where you go past them and the second like the second three hits don't like, don't hit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I hate it. In this matchup, Ibuki benefits from having mix-up potential, and that's really her strongest tool in this matchup, I feel. But with that, you have to know all the fancy toys and tricks. I think I was out of range, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was a little bit out of range. Yeah. It's go 
That's so scary. <laughs> Gonna do... I think this will be the last match. And then we'll have a little sign off and all that good stuff. This is a matchup I've never played. Yeah, and again, this is something where Chun Li wins in neutral, so you either have to be like really on point with the kunais, or you know, like I said with Akuma, find a way to get in. And Ibuki's way to get in in this matchup is, like I said, just get hard on those mix-ups with those slides and the like. Just like that, just keeping that pressure on her. Because if she can't, you know, play that neutral game, that really takes away a lot of Chun Li's tools. That was a punishable target combo. The heavy attack was not fast enough for that for a punish. Ooh, it's punishable again. She goes in the air. And I always end up jumping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. But, you know, when you shut down that Chun Li neutral, that really changes up how things go in the long run. Because, you know, her new, like I said, her neutral is so good that it's tough to contest. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Just really got to get in there and do all that. But I think that is going to do it for the lounge tonight. Thanks for everyone for coming in. Thanks to everyone watching on Twitch. Thanks if you want to see more, leave a follow on the channel. Go visit the website and join the Discord. But until then, thanks everyone for showing up. And uh, we'll see you around the community. All right, thanks everyone for coming around. Good night. See you.